welcome back to my channel and welcome to Newcastle upon Tyne, Geordie Land, North East England, United Kingdom. What if I told you that Newcastle upon Tyne in the United Kingdom actually has a waterfall only a 10 minute walk from the city centre? Well, it does. And in today's video, my sister and I are going to go and find it. We're actually retracing a bit of a, an adventure we had a long, long time ago. Over 40 years ago, my sister and I went on a day out with our beloved granny and she took us on a wonderful trip to Jesmond Dean, whereupon we marveled at giant's footsteps and giant stepping stones across a river and had a lovely little picnic. Oh, I'm looking at the sky. <laughs> Don't look at me, I'm shy. <laughs> now, having lived overseas for 25 years now, I live in Thailand, I miss my sister tremendously, but we still have an extremely close bond. And it was my absolute pleasure to go exploring again with her like we used to do down the gravel pits as kids. Armstrong Park, just through there, was home to King, St King John's Well. You can still see that here. You've got the old Heaton windmill and the cattle run as well, which is a series of bridges and uh, tunnels and walls to take cattle down to the river. And here, as we can see, the infamous shoe tree, which is a rite of passage for uni students when they've graduated, they will go and chuck their trainers or their shoes up into the tree. We're actually gonna walk through three parks today, Armstrong Park, Heaton Park, and Jesmond Dean. Now, I won't bang on too much about this man, but there was a man that once lived called Sir William Armstrong. He was one of the richest guys in all of Europe now. He started his life as a solicitor. I won't go on about it too much. He was an incredible man, but he was uh, gifted pretty much most of Heaton Park. Um, he bought Jesmond Dean and he built Jesmond Dean House, not the one that's currently sitting there. And he developed the waterfall and everything else as his own private gardens and grotto. He built the banqueting hall. Um, and he also had Armstrong Park as well. Now, when he became the first Baron of Cragside, he had the first ever hydroelectric lighting in that house. He um, decided to gift most of Heaton Park and Armstrong Park to the people of Newcastle. And then later on, he actually gifted Jesmond Dean as well. Now, the last great thing he did was in his 80s, he bought uh, Bamborough Castle and set about doing it up. The family still own it today. So Newcastle upon Tyne has a lot to th thank. Sir William Armstrong for Being one of the richest guys in all of Europe at the time, Sir William Armstrong was a pretty prominent guy and indeed when he was the Baron of Cragside, <clears throat> he hosted quite a few eminent people including the Shah of Persia, the King of Siam, King Tula Longcorn, Rama V, the Prime Minister of China and indeed the Prince and Princess of Wales. These parks are all over every English city has a load of green green lungs, the lungs of the city. And like within this one, this is three parts together, but look. Even got a pet's corner in here, look. We've got all sorts in there, it's not open yet, but tennis de table. This is my sister in her bin bag coat. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe this is city centre Newcastle and there's a proper waterfall up here. Granted it was man-made about 150 odd years ago, but nevertheless, how many city centres do you know with a waterfall? It's Ivy Bridge, so cool because it's absolutely covered in ivy and flowers. Up there must be Banqueting Hall or St Mary's Chapel. Okay. There's a room back there as well, look. St Mary's Chapel. And I think this, Lord Armstrong, is the same dude who owned Bamber Castle and he had a shipbuilding company, had a locomotive building company, among many other things. He was one of the richest guys in Europe and gave this part to the people of Newcastle. All three of these parts are grade two listed parts and contain ancient woodland. Yeah, so that's going to be a hotel soon, we think. Right in the middle of three different parks. It's true, look at it, it's all boarded yeah. up. If you're a teenager, you would be all over this like a rash, like my sister just said. When we were teenagers, you would have been exploring the whole place. I've Yeah. Shall no. It's got all the security signs and everything up now. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, get arrested on my last day for trespassing. And I've been exploring. That's where the water falls. Believe it or not, that little river there is the River Ouseburn and it's a tributary to the River Tyne that goes right through Newcastle city centre. And that river right there was actually used to power the mills of the Industrial Revolution up here. I shit you not. I'm trying to stalk a kingfisher. I keep seeing some wonderful birds, but I'm too slow. Do you know what? I'm stalking a kingfisher, but it, I think it's just a leaf. Yeah, it's just a leaf. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. How disappointing. Now I know how our parents feel. Disappointed. <laughs> oh, what are we doing over here? I don't know. Oh, I don't want to go over here. Hang on. Oh, we can come back over this one. Yeah. Look at that. That's very English, look. All the moss and stuff, that's like something out of a fairy tale, isn't it? Look at this bit with all the ivy, look. I know, yeah, look. We'll get down there. there look, 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 look. Yeah, look, that's wonderful through there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Why have I never been here before? Don't know. Mate, you could actually um, walk through this park another 10 times and go different ways, I reckon, Sam. Oh, good, I'm just sitting there in the summer. That's really quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. No, I'm just going to take a picture. That's beautiful with the creeping ivy and the moss and everything. It's quintessentially English. Look, fairy tale bridge. Yeah, you're right, Sam. Fir trees, monkey trees. And we're in the dead of winter, so this is probably the least colour you're ever going to see in here, but still nice. The old picnic field and pavilion, right? But a lot of people have been finger blasted in that pavilion, I'll tell you that, mate. One of the many great things about this park, or these three parks, which I say three parks, let's say four, Paddy Freeman as well, and then the town more, they act as a gigantic wildlife corridor right the way into the city centre and through and out the other side, right the way from the countryside, which I don't see any negatives in that whatsoever. So me and my sister had a, had a morning out with my granny many, many years ago. What do you reckon, 40 years ago? Over, over 40 years ago. And she took us to this magical place, this magical park that had giant's footsteps. And I remember the beat, these footsteps being absolutely massive. Could have fit like five of my shoes in. Hmm. Let's see how big they are now. These are the giant's footsteps. Oh no, I can't fit mine in. I'm no. a giant. I'm a giant. You are, you're a giant. I'm a giant. So Sam fits in there, look, she's really proud of herself, look, she's showing everybody, look. I'm a giant. <laughs> and look, I can't even put my bloody foot in there. Look. I'm just taking a video. How rude. I don't know where I get it. Oh, look. Right, so this giant was probably about six foot four, made 105 kilos. That's me. Yeah, but back then he probably was a giant compared to all the smaller people. It probably was. So let's take you to see the old mill and the waterfall. Right here in the centre of Newcastle upon Tyne. Oh, let's have a look. Go, go down that way. So, let's have a look at this. That's the mill. Let's have a little look at that in a minute. Berries. Never ever eat berries in the UK. The only dangerous thing, really, is mushrooms or berries. Go back up. She's being silly, look. 
she's going to end up tumbling down there. Showing off. Always showing off, my sister, even though she's two years older than me. She showed me how to show off. Anyway, there's the waterfall. Right in the centre of Newcastle. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go around there, but I want to have... Sit on there. We'll go over yeah. there, but I want to have a quick look at this mill first. There were loads of paths up and behind this mill and along this side of the gorge and I believe a couple of old stone buildings as well but Look -a. there was a landslide and the paths are closed. I've got to show you about, I do like to wander as you know so. Yeah, hello. Hello. Loads of little doggies everywhere, cool. They love dogs. This water mill here has been used since at least the 1700s and originally it was a flour mill and it was used as that I believe for about four generations. Later it became a mill for flint and I believe the flint was used the for mill. pottery elsewhere in Newcastle. It's mad to think that literally 15 minutes I can be in the centre of Newcastle shopping in Sports Direct. Not sure why I used that as an example but they're everywhere. Get a little view back, shall we? Oh. Okay. There's a strange lady on the bridge. She appears to have dreadlocks in her hair and a Burberry scarf on. Oh my God. Climb the waterfall, and here we are. <sighs> Didn't say it was a big one, did I? Look, look how clear that water is. Though. Just up screen, we have standing water. Up here. Oh. It's the castle. All the flocks and the jets and they get pulled up there as well, get caught up. Okay. Yeah, careful then. Stay here. My sister's favourite spot. As I said to you at Bamber Castle, Lord Armstrong was a bit of an engineering genius, but... Pretty mad construction, I think. Let's go and have a look up at the stepping stones. I remember going to these as a kid as well. Let's have a look. Looks a bit muddy, but... Hey ho, you for a penny and for a pound. I do remember these. A vague memory from being about seven years of age, you know. When this wet, am I gonna am I gonna do it? That's the question. <laughs> you know I am, right? Here we go. Hey, made it. It's not slippy. You coming? 
It's not slippy. You won't, you won't. You won't. <laughs> I don't know how far up these waterfalls go, look. I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever done before. Quack, quack! Quack, quack! quack, quack. quack. You keep walking through there, you get into the end of Jesmond's D and Paddy Freeman's Park. You can just walk for miles. You would honestly think you're in the middle of the countryside, but we're not. 15 minute walk from Newcastle city centre. Look, we're exploring. Sam's never been this far. Look, we found the tunnel. Ooh. Ah! Oh, it's a bit muddy. It's a shit tunnel. I can't smell piss, so, oh shit, I'm gonna go over. Oh Imagine falling over, isn't it? Looks like we found a Flintstones old quarry, and uh, this is why people need to come out with me with JB Wonders, because this is what I do, I find stuff. It's like we found a quarry from Mad Max, look. Went through a little tunnel, and here we are. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get any more out of this. I can't believe I've never found this. Need your brother. I've had to switch to my phone because my battery's run out on the camera, but we've just gone through that tunnel. And we found this, it's like the, an abandoned quarry from Mad Max, look, with graffiti and this all looks like it's all crashed down recently. Um, it's cordoned off, but only into a footpath. Okay, so this is pretty unexpected. I wonder if my nephew knows about this spot, look. That's mad, isn't it? It's started to rain. Look, there's been a lot of fires here, so I'll... I'll do, I'll do a little research on the history of this place before it was a park, and I know there was all sorts of industry going on here, so this place was clearly some kind of quarry or mine or something like that, anyway. Looks like people or teenagers have been hanging out here for years, doesn't it? Hoping that comes out on the phone. There's the allotment over there. And just to show you, we really are in a city. We've got the graffiti and... Uh, there's the tower block where all the Mandem live. Nice council flat. Yeah. The Mandem, what's the Mandem in Geordie? of today eh and I'm going to show you my favourite graffiti in all of Newcastle are you ready it's not this one it's the second to show you this first I munch Bum fluff! Lunatics. <laughs>